Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I had planned on sharing with you a huge new meal prep for the new year on WW, but life has its own twists and turns. And unfortunately, as I began filming this week, prepping a ton of my fresh produce, having a few breakfast preps on hand, as well as one of our favorite comfort dishes for dinners, my entire household came down with the flu. So we did get tested and we are so thankful that we came back negative for the big C. However, we did all get the flu and it's just run through my house person by person, starting with my husband. Then it hit me super hard. And now this morning, thankfully Josh and I are like, oh man, we feel almost back to normal. Sorry if you can hear it a little bit in my voice still, but then this morning, Lila, our three-year-old daughter, woke up with a fever. So we are still battling the flu bug here in our house. So I didn't end up prepping as much as I had initially thought. We ended up sticking to a lot of crackers and toast and soup. That's all we really wanted this week. But I was really happy as we started feeling better and wanted to eat more that I had a few of those meals already prepped from earlier this week. Because whether you are looking after your budget, trying to lose weight and get on a healthy track, or you're just being prepared in those winter months of cold and flu season, it is really helpful to have some things meal prepped for the week. Because when the house is sick or when you're sick, the last thing you want to do is have to cook dinner for the family. It was really nice to have a couple things that were ready to grab and go for whoever wasn't sick at that time in the house. So a smaller weekly meal prep this week, but I'm still glad I had a few things on hand. I talked about a lot of the recipes I was going to be meal prepping this week in my huge monthly grocery haul video that I just shared earlier this week. If there's any recipes I mentioned that I was going to be meal prepping that I don't get to sharing in today's video, know that I've pushed them till next week and I'll be filming a new fresh meal prep next week. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification so you know when that goes live. Now let's take a look back at what I got prepped for this week even though we were sick. So first up, I'm gonna be prepping some freezer breakfast sandwiches. These are a play on a McDonald's egg and cheese McMuffin. I'm starting by toasting some English muffins. I'm doing some scrambled eggs with the Kinder's buttery steakhouse seasoning, as well as their The Blend seasoning, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. I'm gonna add the scrambled eggs to each of the English muffins top with a little cheddar cheese, as well as put a little spray butter on one side to keep moisture. You could use a breakfast meat on here like ham or turkey bacon if you wanted to. I like to keep mine just egg and cheese and then when I go to serve them, I like to top mine with salsa. These keep so well in the freezer, I just wrap them in tin foil and store them in a gallon size Ziploc bag. And then each morning you can just take out however many you need. We like to use the air fryer to reheat ours and you have a great little breakfast with protein ready to take with you on the go. details and information on the recipe shared in today's video, make sure you check out my description box below. I'll be listing out the full recipes as well as direct links for WW personal points plans so you can import these recipes into your own WW apps. I love having our produce cleaned and prepped in easy grab and go containers at the beginning of the week. I find it helps my family eat so many more fruits and vegetables as snacks and sides with our meals throughout the week if it's all ready to go for us. I use white distilled vinegar to clean my sink to make sure everything is sanitized and then I fill the basin with some cool water and another splash of white distilled vinegar to sanitize the fruit. I'm giving both my strawberries and grapes a rinse in this solution. And then I'm gonna set them in a colander to completely dry before transferring them to my produce saving bins.
Making sure they're completely dry before transferring them helps them to stay fresh as long as possible. And these bins are amazing for wicking away moisture to prevent my fruit from getting moldy or going soft before we've eaten it all. I do have a link for my favorite red produce bins in the description box below. Okay guys, so that's the only prep I got through on that first day that I thought I was initially starting my meal prep for the week. But then midway through the week, Josh picked it up with shredding down the two rotisserie chickens we purchased at Costco that had been in the fridge. Rotisserie chicken is one of the easiest ways I find to meal prep. When he broke everything down, he weighed and measured them out. So we got two one pound packages of cooked shredded chicken in our freezer. And then he left out this dish of it to be used for sandwiches or wraps. And then one of the nights he prepped some taco chicken by just adding some taco seasonings and stuff to this chicken. So he's been eating this up throughout the week. I wanna share with you guys what I'm doing for lunch real quick today by using some of our prepped chicken. Meal prepping doesn't always mean having full meals ready to go in containers to take to the office. I don't work outside of the house, so for me, just having some components that are prepped, like the rotisserie chicken ready to go, really helps me save time and make sure that I eat something healthy and substantial for lunch instead of getting too busy or skipping meals, which is something I used to do if I didn't have meals ready to go. So today for lunch, I just cooked up some rice, which I had some of the freezer bagged rice from Trader Joe's that you just pop in the microwave. It's rice some of the plain shredded chicken breast for zero points. And then those are frozen veggies that I just popped in the air fryer. So this is gonna be a super healthy, low point lunch option that didn't take me very long to put together. Lastly, to add on to that lunch, I mentioned it in the grocery haul video I just shared, but I have been obsessed with Laughing Cow Cheese Wedges recently. They're one point per wedge. This is the pepper jack flavor. I also have the garlic herb that I like to put into pastas or spread on sandwiches. But I'm just gonna chop up this little cheese wedge into that dish kind of zap it in the microwave for a couple minutes so it gets warm and starts to melt and get creamy and add it as a fun little flavoring sauce to that chicken rice and veg mix. There you go. There's a little lunch prep done. And then finally, let's go back to last night when I finally had a chance to make our comfort dish of our turkey goulash. I love this turkey goulash recipe. It's so warm and comforting. My whole family loves it and it makes a nice large pot of it. So that way we can have it for dinner one night and there's plenty of leftovers that we can use as lunch preps for the rest of the week. Here are all the ingredients I'm gonna be using in today's recipe. However, I am gonna go ahead and write out the full recipe in the description box below for your reference as well as include the WW app link so you can import it directly into your app and see how many points this recipe will be for you on your own personalized WW plan. If you guys can tell, my voice is starting to go from getting over being sick, so I'm gonna leave the voiceover off here so you don't have to listen to my scratchy voice talk through the recipe. So here's a look at how I made our turkey goulash. Life is one big riddle All the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it
meal prepping for this week. It was small, but it was so helpful just to have a few of those things on hand. An easy freezer grab and go breakfast sandwich, some fruit as well as chicken ready to go for some salads and wraps. And of course, one of our favorite comfort foods, that turkey goulash was so delicious. It's so warm and comforting. That definitely fits the bill for what I want after I'm getting over being sick. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed today's meal prep video, and I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, bye. bye. Always do I never think